In this video, I'll explain the meaning of a derivative in context. Let's consider a situation where a student, Courtney, is going on a road trip. The function f of t measures the amount of fuel Courtney's car has consumed in gallons, where t is measured in hours since Courtney left her hometown. And we happen to know that f prime of 5 equals 2.5. What does this mean? Pause the video and try to write an explanation. A common explanation is the instantaneous rate of change five hours after Courtney left is 2.5 gallons per hour. This is a true statement, and it identifies the units that are associated with the 5 and the 2.5. However, it does not convey much additional meaning. In particular, it doesn't explain what the instantaneous rate of change actually means in the context of Courtney's trip. So we need to come up with a better explanation. To help us think about the potential candidates, let's make a graph of f. For this graph, the horizontal axis would be the time in hours, and the vertical axis would be the amount of fuel consumed in gallons. Here is another common description. The amount of fuel Courtney's car consumed increased by 2.5 gallons each hour over the first five hours since leaving her hometown. This would mean that if we made a table of values of t and f of t, Courtney would have used 2.5 gallons after one hour, 5 gallons after two hours, 7.5 gallons after three hours, and so on. If we plotted these values as coordinates on the graph, the fuel consumption would look like this. And the difference between these graphs suggests that this interpretation is incorrect. What's happening here is that this interpretation is as a constant rate of fuel consumption from t equals 0 to t equals 5. But Courtney isn't necessarily using fuel at a constant rate. She could be speeding up, slowing down, going uphill or downhill over those 5 hours. Now, the 5 in f prime of 5 means that we're focusing on the value at t equals 5 hours, not over a 5-hour interval. So let's make another attempt. Here is another common description. Starting at 5 hours, during the next hour, Courtney's car will consume another 2.5 gallons of gas. This is an improvement because it's focusing on the 5-hour mark, and it's not claiming that the gas is necessarily being consumed at a constant rate. But if we think about what this means on the graph, it's saying that starting at t equals 5 hours, over the next hour, the amount of fuel consumed will go up by 2.5 gallons. And this doesn't match the graph, because it's describing the average rate of fuel consumption from t equals 5 to t equals 6 hours. And we don't know how Courtney drove over that hour-long interval. Now, we want to describe an instantaneous rate at t equals 5 hours. Since this attempt was better than the previous one, let's see if we can work with it to make it more precise. Let's start with an average rate over a time interval starting at t equals 5. We can write this as a change in f divided by the corresponding change in t. And on the graph, the delta t would be represented by the length of this red arrow, and the delta f would be represented by the length of this blue arrow. And the values of f that correspond to the endpoints of this blue arrow are f of 5 and f of 5 plus delta t. So we can rewrite this average rate of change as the difference between these two values divided by delta t. And now we want to look at the instantaneous rate of change rather than the average rate of change. To get the instantaneous rate of change from the average rate, we take the limit of the average rate of change as delta t approaches zero. And this is supposed to be equal to 2.5. This limit means that we're evaluating the average rates of change over smaller and smaller intervals. So let's shrink the delta t interval. And let's zoom in to see this a little better. When delta t is small enough, the slope starts to look constant. 
In particular, the essentially constant slope in this window would be 2.5. So, for a sufficiently small delta t, the amount of change in f is 2.5 times as much as the amount of change in t. Now that we have all of this, let's make another attempt at explaining the meaning of f prime of 5 equals 2.5. We can see that this constant slope corresponds to a constant rate for fuel consumed per hour. So we can explain what f prime of 5 equals 2.5 means in the following way. As time varies by a very small amount from 5 hours, the change in the amount of gas consumed from f of 5 is 2.5 times as much as the change in time.